Welcome uh, to the Steak Show. This is Ron Moore along with the J-Man, J-Man 46241. What's up? And we are doing a part two from what we did years ago, our favorite YouTubers. Yeah, yeah. And we were hoping, it's still possible maybe later on, Nico Tengoku may join us, maybe not, but he was going to originally be in this with us. Um, but uh, maybe he'll join later, hopefully. But yeah, um, I think it was this is your idea, was it? Yeah, um, we had actually planned a uh, Beavis and Butthead podcast, which was also my idea, but a bad one. Oh uh, well, that no, wasn't really a bad one. I mean, that that idea came up during the Best of Best 2K show, and me and Gentoo were down yeah. for that, but Gentoo is asleep right now. I think he passed out. Um, and yeah, that would have been a decent show. It would have been decent. Uh, maybe, maybe we could do a Trailer Park Boys at Nalkin. Um, all right. And so, yeah, like years ago, we did a Our Favorite YouTubers show. And I have to wonder when, when, what year we did that. I don't even remember the year. It had to be yeah, like... 2009 or 2010. Uh, yeah, I think so. I was thinking 2015, but no, it's probably older than that. Um, and I because... Th- Jeff was in that one, I remember. I'm yeah, this up. was way back. Uh, and I remember uh, we talked about, yeah, it says, uh, I believe, I'm looking it up here. Uh, it was originally, yeah, 2010. Oh. Uh, uh, me, you, Jeff, we, Guy, and Bear. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we talked about... Uh, a lot of different YouTubers, but of course we've we've uh, discovered more ECW YouTubers since then, and yes, so we're going to talk about them. Left. Yeah, and we are going to talk about those guys today. And I uh, hope I don't forget to mention anybody because some of these people going to mention are like you know close to me, and we support each other. And uh, so, by kind of going through my subscription list here, uh, have quite a list. Um, but I'm going to mention the ones that I really, really like, that I really watch all the time, or that I even connect with, that people that I know, or that even have been on this channel that we interviewed. Archfiend. That Archfiend, yeah. <laughs> did you talk about him last time? Yeah, probably. Probably did, yeah. But I want to go ahead and mention uh, Omega Ace Gaming. He's the last person that we re- reviewed. Dang it. He's the last person that we interviewed. Um, on this channel a few months ago, me and Bushido Blade Warrior and Maz and Power was a special guest. I'll talk about his channel in a bit too. Um, Omega Ace Gaming is a live streamer on YouTube. He streams a lot of mainly retro games and he's like one of the most chill, wholesome streamers out there. Like the dude is legit and he, he has recently, and by the way, if you have not heard it, go back and listen to the interview we did with Omega Ace Gaming. It was a very good interview. He talks about his LLE wrestling promotion. Uh, it's not a real life wrestling promotion, but it's a YouTube thing where he created a lot of us YouTubers. And of course, the ones he he knows is connected with, not just any he, you know anybody he doesn't know or had never even been to his channel at all. You know he he doesn't uh, create them, but like people that he's gotten. To know, like me, Bushido Blade Warrior, Zombie GLT1, Mega Dan, all these people, um, he, him, and Maz and Power worked on this project for about a year, and finally it launched. I think last August or September, and just created a lot of YouTubers and WWE 2K19, and have the CPU on the hardest difficulty just simulate these matches. All the YouTubers have the same attributes. There's no you know, Ron Moore has more strength than Danny, or Danny has more speed than Ron Moore. Uh, and nothing like that. Everybody has the same attributes as an even playing field. And I, I believe that's true. I trust these guys. I don't think they would secretly make someone less uh, stronger or, or better than uh, anybody else. Um, and I want, I'm not going to mention this person's name, but... He Ace told me of one of the YouTubers <laughs> that was in this project wanted out because him and his tag team <laughs> no <laughs> him and his no, tag no, team no. partner him and his tag team partner lost a tag match lost a tag match he got butt hurt wanted out of the project and, un- and unsubscribed from Ace that's gay that is 
petty and stupid. This is just for fun. You're not making money. You're not. It's not going to make your channel look bad. It's all for fun. There's no real YouTube beef with any anybody in this uh, little project. It's just for fun. And this stuff happens every once in a while. And I, I, I think it's actually kind of flattering. Yeah. Be mentioned. Yeah, and I mean, I've in the the inaugural event in the Bow Royal. I got eliminated. I didn't last long or do much damage. This last yeah. event that happened <laughs> recently, me and Danny, for the most part, got stomped in that match by Zombie GLT1 and Josh05, if I said it's right. Josh um, stomped, basically. I mean, yeah, it, it's like, oh, dang, I got stomped. But I didn't get mad and be like, oh, man, I lost. Y'all rigged this. and You gave him more attributes. Shut up. It's for fun, man. I'll win, lose, or draw. I mean, man, this is a fun project to do. And if anybody seriously gets butthurt over your character losing in a game, like, dude, you got more problems to deal with than that uh, in life. Like, you just. Yeah. Go back to your Call of Duty. Yeah. I mean, geez. Like, I couldn't believe. Well, I kind of could believe no one person that uh, got mad how he, he handles things on stream. But, like, it, it was stupid. And uh, But this project is just for fun. Him and Mazen and Power came up with this idea, and man, they really executed it. And his channel is fun to watch. And he, I mean, his channel, man, like, he has like maybe barely over 700 subscribers now, but he, his, his ratio, his subscriber to viewer ratio is good. Like, he has people that really, really want to watch his stuff. And like, I have 1,500 subscribers, I get lucky to have 10 viewers in my live streams. This guy will have maybe 20 or 30, especially with the LLE events, 30-something people watching. Like This guy is the example of quality over quantity. I don't care if you have a lot of subscribers, if your view count or whatever is down. I mean, And I'm not trying to make it all about statistics, but just kind of like saying like it's not all about how big your channel is. It's the quality of it. And this guy is a pure example of that. It's what you got the show. Speaking and, of that, um, what does LLE stand for? You know, I forgot. He told me, and I keep forgetting. Uh, I can message him real quick, and maybe might get back to me later, and, and uh, I can maybe tell Limited you. But uh, no, no, uh, something Luchador uh, Entertainment or something Luchador Elite. I forgot, but uh, I'm gonna uh, ask him real quick. What? No, not what she's stupid. Are correct? What does L E Stand for again. I think it's for again. L O L. F O R E. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, but man, like, yeah, J Man, I strongly suggest you check out Omega Ace Gaming. Um, cool dude, streams, you know, a lot of cool games and is very respectful to his audience. And, uh, you know, he's not someone, you know, that uh, would get butthurt over some petty disagreements like so, some. <laughs> streamers would get mad over like and zombies or, yeah that or like uh, this is why i don't like to talk about these things but you got sensitive topics like the vaccine the face masks or politics i don't allow that stuff really to be talked about in my streams only because it's a video game stream and i really don't want any sensitive topics to be brought up and there'd be a big e-war in the chat and i'm like all right guys chill we don't care about the vaccine unless, unless you're talking about vaccine and Resident Evil or something, for the zombie virus or something. Let's not be talking about all this BS that's going to bring nothing but arguments. I mean, it's if you want to... It's nonsense. I, I believe in the separation between outside life and internet life. Yeah. And, I know and people... a lot of people have trouble with that. And, well... <laughs> yeah. And... Uh, so and Ace is like a real chill dude. His streams are very entertaining, and uh, yeah, the LLE project ingenious thing that him and Mazen came up with. So Omega Ace Gaming, and if you haven't, please check out the interview we did, ECW interview, an in depth view, which we're trying to do for the longest time, and we finally got it done a few months ago. I mean, even when I was in Mexico, we were trying to get it done, and this it didn't happen until sometime after I moved back uh, to the U.S. where we finally were able to get it done. And, uh, man, it was a good interview. Okay, he just uh, <laughs> told me. Uh, he goes, honestly, I always I always have to look it up. <laughs> he didn't even know either. I, I think because Mazda came over. He goes, Los Luchadores de Elote. And, okay, you might think, what the heck? 
Elote is an inside joke between him and Mazen Power that blew up in the community. And Omega Ace actually explains that in the interview um, I, that we did with him. I put, uh, thanks. I, I'll just send him a voice clip as I'm talking. I'll say, uh, all right. Thanks, man. I'm doing. We're doing an S2K show right now, and my friend wanted to know what did LLE stand for, and I had no idea. I keep forgetting. Lols. Okay, there. Sent it to him. All right. So, yeah. Uh. So there you go. What the heck? Okay. Lost Luchadores de Elote. Um. Yeah. So there you go. Um. Yeah. So J Man, uh, anybody you want to mention right now? One of your favorite YouTubers. Yeah, may, and we're trying to make it different from who we talked about last time, unless we accidentally talk about who we we've mentioned before. Oh, it's going to be different. I guarantee that. That's um, good. Most of the subscribers <laughs> or subscriptions that I had back in what was it, 2010? Uh, well, they're gone, uh, unfortunately. Um, but on the subject of wrestling, uh, I want to put out. Oh, I want to give a shout out. Maybe that. <laughs> yeah, shout out. Uh, wrestling Bios. Oh, yes. I know exactly Rig who you're talking about. Uh, the, uh, yeah, Ring 9, the, the, the war between WCW and WWF. Yeah. Uh, oh, wait, should I say WWE? Oh, yeah, we're going to get, uh, uh, not copyright, we get copyright by the World game. Wildlife Foundation, uh, Federation, yeah. whatever it's called. I'm gonna get no, but, uh, yeah. Great channel. Check it out. Oh yeah, um, I've seen. Oh yeah, I've seen a lot of his stuff. Yeah, he does quite a few things. So yeah, it's 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 not just wrestling, but it. All right, yeah, it's <laughs> but it's good stuff. A great commentary, uh, just very well made. Oh um, yeah. Another channel. Okay, this is going to be completely different. Uh, Stevo. Just Steve because he from Jackass. Awesome. Yes. Okay. Hell yeah. Stone Cold Steve-O, Austin? Uh, you're damn right. What? Because Steve-O said so. But, no. uh, yeah, the, on his channel, uh, he has a podcast, but also he does, uh, like, short videos. Um, usually very humiliating. Self-humiliating. Uh, yeah. It's, it's, it's good stuff. And plus, it's, well, it's fucking Steve-O. So, there you go. Yeah. All right, uh, ready? Um, and Mazen Power, the channel I mentioned uh, earlier, um, he lives in Mexico. Sadly, I never got to meet him because we were on the opposite country, side of the country. Um, sure. Bilingual. Was he, was he in Chihuahua? No, I, f I forgot where he told me he was. I don't know if he's near Monterey or where, but um, uh -huh. he, bilingual streamer, um, kind of underrated, I think, just like Ace. I think they deserve more uh, subscribers. Um uh, but Mazen, uh, Mazen Power, which I didn't know what that stood for at first, and it means corn, like Mazen corn in Spanish. Uh, oh, name? Yeah, okay. Yeah, Mazen Power. Um, he... I had, I had the redneck uh, spell it. Everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, and so, he's a pretty cool dude also. He, um, like, along with Omega Ace Gaming, uh, they were, they both came up with this idea of the, the LLE project. Lost Luchadores Elote. So while Ace told the Elote story in the stream, Mazen thought the Elote story was so funny that he ran with it. And so it became like this big joke in the community. If you go to my live stream, you type, you type in command Elote, Elotes. And then Streamlabs will say Elotes. And yeah, it's like an inside, just like EC, ECW. And it's like an inside joke with us that blew, in the, blew up in the community. That's their, their thing as well. Um... Or so, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, they call themselves the Super Elote Brothers. And they have merchandise that it looks similar to the Super Mario Brothers 2 cover. And Mario, yeah, yeah Mario and Luigi kind of dressed differently, or, or maybe a mustache or, or whatever. Uh, Super Elote Brothers, and which I really want to get that shirt. Um, and kind of related, um, I actually I have a shirt that's uh, it has Cheech and Chong on it, and they're like in 8 bit form. And it's Super Barrio Brothers. Huh. Barrio. It's a, huh. Just kind of a Mario tribute. Yeah. Player one is Peach, player two is Strong. And, yeah. and Mazen Power is very good at games. Like, he can do a lot of no-death runs. 
I think he he did a um. I'm trying to think what game in particular. I think he might have no death ran Castlevania Bloodlines. He no death ran Simon's Quest. Uh, he no death ran some a bunch of other games. He he beat Little Nemo the Dream Master legit. That game's hard. Um, and he's he's done a lot of uh, challenges and a lot of no death runs on on YouTube. And uh, he's pretty cool. And uh, I've been following him for about maybe since 2019, I think. And uh, yeah, him and him and Ace do the commentaries on the LLE events, and so and they boy they both speak Sp they're both bilingual actually I forgot, um, and so yeah, Mazin's pretty cool. I just wish we had plans to meet in Mexico because I thought I was gonna be in Mexico a lot longer than I actually was, uh, but it was still hard because you know he lives on the other side of the country. Flight tickets cost money and all that stuff, and didn't get to meet. We were gonna pl really gonna do a collab stream together on webcam. And, uh, like, in my house or whatever, but unfortunately, that didn't happen. There would have been an awesome surprise. It surprised people. Hey, guys, I got a special guest in my house. And then, hey, guys, this is Mazen Power. <laughs> and Lotus. And, yeah. Go. <laughs> yeah, go. <laughs> and Mazen and Ace are familiar with the ECW community. Uh, and so, yeah, another awesome gaming channel. I'll try to remember to put links of who we're talking about in the description box. Uh, oh, wait. Before that, uh, you, you did mention something about promos. Yes. I. You can record promos, like get in front of your phone or your webcam, and just cut a promo on somebody. And I recently did that. Uh, I sent it to Ace. He's editing it, editing it and he's going to send it to me when it's done. And I'll have it uploaded, and then it'll be used in a future LLE event. And That's so. Right. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah, and I don't want to spoil anything about what I said. I know I told you off off recording uh, before, yeah. re but a little bit. I don't want to spoil it here, though. But uh, Ace and Mazin are the only ones that have seen the video. And uh, I know for sure that um, I, I didn't hear feedback from Mazin yet, but I know that Ace loved it. He thought it was funny, and he's going to um, put some finishing touches on it and then send it to me. And if I and if I like how it looks, then I'm going to upload it and promote Ace and, and the LLE event while I do that. So, yeah, you, like, cut your own promos, and if you do that and you send it to him, you're guaranteed to get a spot in the next LLE event. So, oh, shit. that's a very fun uh, thing to do. Like, watching all these YouTubers wrestle each other and the way he designs them, especially uh, when he knows what we look like. Like, because there's some streamers that are not exactly on, ever on webcam, but they do, they do have a persona. Uh, but, like, the ones that, you know, he knows what I look like or, like, the way Danny looks like or may dress um and just you know zombie glt1 with his sunglasses on and his long hair i mean he they put a lot of work into designing these characters make sure it looks like us and so this took like over a year for all this to get done and so they record the matches and then they record the matches in advance and then w when they go live because you know, they want to make sure there's no glitches or something messes up in the matches and then when everything's finalized and looked over they'll They'll broadcast the event on YouTube, do commentary over it, and uh, you know display the matches. So it's and it's a fun project. You get to see yourself wrestle whoever, and uh, yeah, man, that's a that's a, such a great idea. I'm glad they did that. They they only get to do it so often because man, I mean, there's been maybe only three or four LLE events since August or September. Like they can't do this as a monthly monthly wrestling show or whatever. I I mean, it might take a little longer than that because they gotta. You set up the matches. Uh, sometimes maybe set up a, a storyline. Like in the latest event, they said, "Oh, wait a minute, we got wait, we got something going on backstage. Let's get the camera back there right now." And then it showed uh, Lit Gaming 999 and uh, Phil Twerping from YouTube just fighting backstage. Wait a minute, what what's going on here? <laughs> and, like they got to set you know set that stuff up and uh, set up. The, I guess the the um, they just got to get the matches going and add new YouTubers every once in a while. A new roster. So they may have to edit a few things, and uh, and plus they have a life. They work. They're married, you know. So it, it we only get to see these events once every blue moon, but it is worth it when they do it. Oh yeah, quality over quantity. Exactly. All right, who else you got? Oh, it's my turn again. Ah, damn it. Yep. Okay. I, I figure. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's how. It's how it, I figure maybe just like I, I go and you go. I go and yeah. you go. Yeah, it's a it's a battle. It's a subscription battle. What? Yeah, subscription okay. battle royal. <laughs> Please subscribe. 
Well, uh, let's uh, let's try to open up a little bit. Ah, <sighs> oh, damn it! The door's locked. No problem. <laughs> I thought oh, we had an open door policy. LPL, the lock picking lawyer. This guy can unlock anything. And what's his name again? Lock picking lawyer. Lock picking lawyer. Also, he's a locksmith. Actually, ridiculously popular on YouTube. It's got like four, probably about four million subscribers. Oh, cool. Very professional channel. Check him out. Do me a favor while you're here. Type in the Skype chat the channels you mentioned so far and keep doing that throughout the show so that I remember to put these links in the description. I don't know how to type. <laughs> you know this. <laughs> okay. Because um, right, I got to, um, I just want to make sure I get the correct links or who you talk about. Ah, like, oh, dang it. What do you say, Steve O? And then I'm trying to look it up, make sure I get the right channel with no fake channels. What was the first well, I mean, one? Like, uh, whenever you, you put it together, I can I can do like the description. Okay like, then. Yeah. Yeah, just do that then. I want to get all these links in the description box. Um. So, cause yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, I feel like it'd be the right thing to do. We're talking about these people, and then we don't plug their channel in the description box. It'd be easier for them to check it, check these people out. And I'm still a boomer. I, I use the description box. I don't use these cards or annotations or whatever the heck is around these days. Uh, me and you are YouTube boomers. Well, yeah, the the, the annotation is boomer. <laughs> yeah. Um, we yeah. haven't used those since the last podcast. We're not the annotations, but the, the, the where it says click, like in the video, there's a card or something that shows up, and you can click on someone, you can click on a link. Yeah, that shit gets on my nerves, actually, but anyways. Yeah, but uh, the next person I want to talk about is Zombie GLT1, who we also interviewed. Uh, me and Danny did last year and he's a pretty chill laid back dude as well he doesn't uh, unlike another streamer he won't get mad if you mention a certain video game he hates and then ban you from the chat which I think is stupid um, he allows he really does allow um, and he actually does allow like sensitive topics too he said we can talk about this or that but as long as we're respectful and don't uh, you know let it get out of hand and if he wants to do that that's fine I don't really want to discuss sensitive topics in my stream but he'll let you do it as long as you're not a dick and y'all can res uh, disagree like adults and then that's All right. <laughs> yeah and uh i mean so he's I and mean, he's like you know a chill youtuber as well just like ace and um uh, real laid back and sometimes he'll do uh his son is with him not really on cam i guess because that stupid copa policy i don't know but he he can hear his son's voice off of the camera and then like they play games together and uh, I think he does a lot of podcasts now on Saturday nights uh, with other YouTubers and he he's it's funny because like when we interviewed him uh, like he's been misgendered a lot because he you couldn't tell <laughs> I mean the way he looks he has long black hair wearing his sunglasses his voice is a little bit not not too mu uh, uh, not muscular what's the it's not too feminine, but it's not too uh, manly either. And it's, and I've okay, so basically, if he goes through a drive-through and orders something, and they say, "Is that all, ma'am?" Yeah, and but he won't like he's been misgendered a lot. He doesn't really get triggered by that. Uh, we talked about that in the interview a little bit, and he said, "Yeah, I've been misgendered a, lo a lot, but I'm you know, it is what it is. I get why I'm misgendered. I'm, I don't get mad when people mistake me for a woman." Um, when I was watching this stream. One night, I saw him for the first time, and I thought, oh, wait, this is a woman. But no, I was right the first time. That was a, it's a man. He's a man. He's a man. I'm, I swear I'm not gay. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but he, you know, when I first saw it, but he looks cool the way he dresses. Like, he got, he looks like, like a big biker dude that would beat the snot out of you. Just like he did me, pretty much, in the last LLE event. Um, and yeah. he's always wearing sunglasses. I, I told him one day, I said, I, never, I don't think I've ever seen you without your sunglasses, ever. But I think he said he wears them because his, um, I think his eyes are real sensitive to light. And uh, it kind of really helps reduce that, uh, any headaches or whatever he may experience by wearing those all the time. So he wears it on stream all the time, not just to look cool. I wear my sunglasses at night. Yeah. Yeah. And so, uh, and this dude, he, he streams, uh, I, I haven't watched him stream a video game in a while. I, um, I know he does a lot of podcasts every Saturday. 
and where they talk about a lot of retro games and stuff, and I think movies too. So Zombie GLT1 is a cool dude as well. I've uh, followed him since uh, I said since, yeah, I think since 2019. 2019 is when I discovered a lot of people that are going to be mentioning in this show, uh, and uh, it's really because of the next person I want to mention after I let you go next. Uh, but I'm going to mention Goblin215. And uh, I would like to talk about him, but go ahead. It's your turn. I'll let you talk about whoever you want to talk about next. That name sounds familiar. Uh, yeah, there was an interview. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, that's right. David Putty. Well, yeah, that's right. East. I'm sorry? First we, first, we feast. And then I mentioned the channel, First We Feast. Oh, cool. <laughs> It's where um, celebrities eat chicken wings, but not just chicken wings, spicy chicken wings. Ah. And the, uh, the Scoville level, well, levels up. There's usually, uh, well, there's always tin wings, and it's different hot sauces that are put on the chicken wings. And then, well, you eat and you talk. Oh, cool. They've had, they've had your boy Stone Cold. Steve-o. So it's kind of like, uh, uh, dang it, what's it called? Um, we eats. Yeah, but it's uh, we heats. <laughs> we heats, yeah. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, they had all kinds of motherfuckers on there. Yeah. All right, let's see here. Um, and I'll check that out. Uh, well, what was what, it called again? First we feast. First we feast. Oh, okay. All right, and so I want to mention Goblin215. We Yes, we did interview him last year as well. Yep. And I I discovered him through, uh, I, I discovered him through anybody. He discovered me first. Um, I got a subscription one day. It's maybe late 2018, early 2019. And it said Goblin215 has subscribed to you on YouTube. And... Uh, like sometimes I'll get curious to check out their channel. All right, who subscribed to me? Okay, and I go to his channel, and he has like a lot of content, and he's been streaming for a little while, and he seems to stream a lot of cool retro games I was into. So I checked out his content, and then I subscribed, and I started coming to his streams, and we started connecting. And through him, throughout the whole year, 2019, man, I connected with a bunch. of of YouTubers I never met before, some I've mentioned already, some I'm about to mention. And man, I just met this new whole uh, audience, I mean, a new whole uh, a group of people. And through them, I connected with this person. Through that person, I connected with the three, these three other people. And then my audience and subscriber count grew and grew and grew. And then that's what helped me. That was a chain of events that really helped lead me to getting a thousand subscribers in April 2019 I met this new network of people and it all started with Goblin 2015 and the way my YouTube channel was laid out at the time um, it showed on the on the home page it showed my oldest my oldest content first so when you first go to the home page it'll say let's play uh, Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest 10 years ago so he's doing a stream one night and he finishes his stream. We're streaming at the same time. He finishes his stream. And uh, he has his, his viewers raid me. So his his viewers come to my channel. I get raided. And uh, I was like, oh, cool. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. And uh, I went to go, after the stream, I went to go check out his stream to see the part where he told his viewers to raid me. And he he... Right before he he talks about my name, he goes, uh, "I want to see if uh, th there's a guy there's a guy named Ron Moore who do, used to do a lot of content. Then he stopped ten years ago, man. And I'm hoping he does content again because he was doing good stuff. So he at this point he thinks I, I haven't done content in ten years <laughs> because he sees on the home page ten years ago. He thinks that's the latest upload or latest stream." Which, by the way, you couldn't stream in 2009 on YouTube. So, but he, well, he thought not latest stream. He thought that was the last thing I did was 10 years ago on YouTube. And 
so he goes, uh, yeah, he doesn't, he hasn't done anything in 10 years though, but, uh, you know, and so someone actually checked out my channel and they went back to him and said, he's actually live right now. What? <laughs> so he thinks I'm live for the first time, doing something for the first time in 10 years. He was thinking of the J-Man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, uh, so I get ready. They come along, and I told him, I said, no, dude, I, I've actually been around nonstop since 2007. And he goes, oh, well, your homepage says 10 years ago. I said, oh, dang, it does. And I, I said, I maybe need to fix that. So I re-edited it. Re-edited it. What the heck? I, I, what do you call it? Yeah, um, I uh, reformatted my homepage to where it shows my latest content, my newest content. So right. because people think I hadn't done anything in 10 years, and he was like, man, I'm um, – because I think he even told me when I, 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 I don't know if I messaged him or, or said something like, hey, thanks for subscribing. He goes, cool, yeah, no problem, man. I mean, you have a lot of good content here, man. I hope you come back one day. And I was like thinking, well, it's been a few weeks since I've done something. Bobby. <laughs> and I, I forgot what I said. I think I said, yeah, I'll be doing something again soon. Maybe I think there's like a, a, a week or two gap where I haven't done anything. And I thought he was thinking, oh, man, he hasn't done anything in two weeks. I miss him already. I'm like, geez, man, it's been a couple of weeks. My goodness. <laughs> uh, but, no, he thinks I was gone for 10 years. That's why. And um, so that was funny. And so I, but I met him, and he's a cool dude. The interview we did was great. He said Goblin 215. 215 stands for his birthday, February 15th. And his kids inspired him to do these streams. And so, I mean, he, he just started doing it. And he's a pretty cool, chill streamer. I think he does stuff on Twitch as well. So, and through him, I started connecting with a bunch of other people that I'm going to mention here in a little bit. And so, wow, he, so meeting him really started a chain of events to where I met this person, that person, a whole new network of people, and I got a whole new audience, and I was able to get over a thousand subscribers because of all that. Cool. All right. Um, question, uh, does he do, like, all kinds of uh, Let's Plays or, I mean, yeah, it's streaming, what the fuck ever. Um, he does. I think he does a little bit of both. He, he he's done some newer content as well, but I think he mainly does retro. Uh, I know he's done. He, he's a big fan. What made him? I think he said what actually con convinced him to subscribe to me was he saw that I did Castlevania content, and he said if you do Castlevania content, there's a ninety nine percent chance or a real good chance he will subscribe to you. So he there's, saw that. Percent chance we guy will show up. Whatever his name is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, he does. he's done the Contra stuff. He's done Castlevania. He's done, uh, uh, what was it? Uh, it's like a Castlevania spiritual successor that came at Bloodstained, I think it was called. Um, he, I, think he, I think he streamed that. He's done a lot of stuff. And, um, yeah, so he has a lot of interesting content to check out. But it's amazing how through him is when I met all these people. Cool. All right. And next, AVGN. Uh, no. Uh. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> yeah. Dun, dun, ECW. I, I would say in my uh, subscriptions, he's probably the only one that I was subscribed to <laughs> when we first did this like 12 years ago. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not but yeah, still fucking awesome. James Rolfe. All right. Was it, was it my turn again? Or? Yeah, it's your turn. Ah, uh, oh, crap. All right. Uh, how do I segue from that? Well, okay. I got one. Uh, this is for Green. <laughs> Michael Franzis. Michael Franzis. Um, I guess it's kind of an inside joke, but... Uh, uh, I've always been uh, very, very interested in mafia, mob, that type of stuff. Yeah. Uh, there's a guy on YouTube that was an actual mob boss. And he's one of, I believe, three mafia, like, like made men that are still alive today. Wow. Uh, all the five families. Now, I'm only talking about New York mob. I'm, I'm not mentioning the Chicago families or what was out west in uh, Vegas. I think they're all fucking dead, but anyways. Like from Casino? 
very good channel um ronnie you would actually like it uh he's uh a devout christian oh cool and he and he doesn't shove it down your throat you know like maybe the mafia would <laughs> uh, yeah um, the christian mafia very light with it it's you know it's a message don't end up like i ended up he actually did uh, 11 years in prison um well, okay, he was sentenced to 11 years and did eight, but still. Yeah. Holy fuck, shit. Um, but yeah, big, big made guy uh, doing nice things, sending out positive messages for for the youngers. Don't get involved in this bullshit. You're going to end up dead or behind bars. So, great fucking channel. Michael Franzisi. And get the fuck out of here. Okay. Hey, yo, what are you doing here, huh? Hey, it's Spicy Nepo. What? What the fuck <laughs> am I talking <laughs> about? Okay, please, Ronnie. <laughs> I also want to mention Nitro Online, who I am one of his channel members. Um, he, this dude helped me on the day I hit 1,000 subscribers. I was in his live stream. And he said, oh, man, let's go, guys. Check out Ron Moore's channel. If you like it, what you see, go and support him. Let's go. Uh, help him reach 1K. And Nitro Online uh, urged his supporters to check me out. And then, boom, right in the middle of his live stream, uh, he I hit 1K. I kept on refreshing to see if it worked because I was getting the numbers are going up slowly. I was at 996 or something like that. And then, yep, sure enough, boom, 1K. And, and I, somebody unsubscribed. And <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's a troll. <laughs> Um, okay, Gentry just got back to me and said, I don't use Skype anymore. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Huh? Lols. So, Gentry definitely would not be making an appearance right now. Um, and let me check one more time to see if Nico responded. And no, he hasn't. Okay, so, um, but yeah, Nitro Online, uh, he, he does mainly a lot of GTA streams. Um, but he's pretty cool. He really helped my channel grow, and uh, you know, he may be a moderator of his channel as well. And so, I've been a channel member of his for a while. And yeah, he's a pretty cool dude. And he, uh, yeah, he was very integral and helped me reach 1K. And he was one of the people I think I connected through Goblin. Uh, and so, uh, he, yeah, he still streams today. I think there's a time where he he did a a streak where he streamed every day for over a year. I'm like, wow. And so he has over 6k now. Um and yeah, he's a pretty cool dude. Uh so he he definitely helped me help my channel grow in April 2019. That was an ECW moment when I hit 1k. And uh yes, yeah, so, uh Nitro Online. WCW Nitro Online. Let's go. Boom. And there goes the dynamite. What? I said, boom, they, boom, there goes the dynamite. Oh, man. You know that guy <laughs> was from Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> There's a story behind that, but nobody cares. So, anyways, <laughs> um, uh, I guess going from <laughs> wrestling again. Uh, I, have a, I have a sport that I, I like now. Uh, and I guess as much as wrestling, and that is boxing. So, Rummy's Corner. It's another Italian-sounding guy. Um, it's actually from, like, Boston or something like that. Anyways, uh, great reviews of classic boxing matches spanning from the 60s to, well, today. Oh, cool. Very, very awesome. Um, really, the, the, the span of from the 70s to the late 90s is my favorite part of any boxing match from Ali to Foreman to Tyson, of course, to Foreman again. Yeah. <laughs> to Roy Jones Jr. Oh, yeah. Pound for pound, baby. Oh, I'm going to sound like Sol Star Oh, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> um, uh, this guy, has got it covered in his court. Rummy's Corner. All right, cool. That channel sounds like a real knockout. Um, yeah. 
TKO. <laughs> yeah. RKO. No. Um. Totally knockout. <laughs> I tell you, uh, you're going to be interested in this channel, J-Man. Uh-oh. This channel is called Anxiety War. Do I have to have a seat? <laughs> uh, yeah, kind of. If you're if you're one of these guys he runs into, yeah. Um, do you know who I'm talking about? No. Anxiety War does catch predators. Uh, he does catch predators, and uh, he's been he has 977,000 subscribers. Um, ECW War. Uh, he's been doing this for about five or six years now, I think. Uh man, I mean, this guy. Uh, yeah, the he's a pretty chill dude just the way he talks and laughs he kind of laughs nerdy <laughs> but it's like so cool to hear him laugh like that but he's like uh, just the way he he does his operations and then how he busts them in public and uh pretty much like there's a lot of those vigilante channels i'm just, i'm sure you've seen heard of yeah them. yes i was about to say something about that where uh it's it, they're, they're really not trying to do a good cause they're just it's yes. it's like uh, it's like pride. It's trying to be noticed. It's not really about the cause catching fuckheads that well want to fuck little heads. Yeah, yeah, and and this channel don't really seem to be like that at all. Like because a lot of those vigil vigilante channels, they really go too far with some things, and or like I've seen one one of those predator catching channels where. Um, like this one video where someone's at Walmart and someone's like, oh, this guy's a predator, and boom, hits him right in the face. And you're probably thinking, of course, oh, well, he deserves it. He's a predator. Yeah, that may be so, but you got legalities to watch out. You got legalities to watch for. You got, And plus, like, if you, you're you recording for protection, like, you know how they say, oh, we're recording for your protection and mine, so you can't say I touched you and vice versa. But you're... Yeah, recording for self-promotion. I mean, I'm not talking about the punching part, but... Yeah. Wise. Yeah, and but yeah, but the recording can be used as evidence in case they say, you know, like if you turn in the chat law to the cops, you can say, oh, well, yeah, they attacked me when they confronted me. No, we didn't. We got video evidence right here. Um, and there's this one part in Walmart. I forgot the channel's name, but there's like a, a new predator catcher, and he was going around saying, hey, everybody, we got a predator over here. And then one, I think I know what you're talking about. The predator he, gets he, punched he, right in the face. The predator gets punched in the face, and the guy recording did not even do anything to stop it. Like, hey, hey, no, 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 don't, don't, don't touch him, don't touch him. Like, there's another one called a Colorado Pet Patrol, who I also like, and he he tells people like, there's people that want to that want to hit these predators, but he steps in, he goes, no, 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 don't don't touch him. We're recording. We're gonna get him arrested. We're recording. Please don't touch him, you know. And the one you know about, uh, what's it called? Uh, dang it, the one Chris Hansen interviewed. His name is Anito. I forgot his channel name though. He always, he never shows his face. Uh, we talked about him a while back, if you remember. Um, it's called uh, Squad uh, uh, Predators Pop Squad Pop Squad. Um, he he's he's told people like don't, don't don't touch him. As much as I'd love for you to beat his ass, don't touch him. We can't allow it to happen for legal reasons. Okay, yeah, I, I did like his tactics because he would uh, record their uh, license plate. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, that's all you need. Yeah, and but uh, yeah, and, and, and uh, I, I think he said, yeah, he, uh, he would suggest uh, some kind of therapy. Uh, yeah, I got your stuff. If you uh, if you want to go through some therapy program, something like that, I won't report you to the police, but I, I got your number. Yeah. And uh, dang, there's another one I just thought of. I could, I can't, I just forgot who. But it was another good predator catching channel that I think they they really do a good job in how they handle it. Because there's a lot of those channels out there that do not handle it good. You can tell they're doing it just to be funny and get their views. They don't really care that much. Yep. yep. And Anxiety War is not like that at all. I don't get that vibe from him at all. This guy, the way he handles it, I think is good and a professional. And uh, he knows how to do it. And he's done it for a few years now. And just uh, his commentary over the chats as he's reading it is pretty good. Oh, Skeeter Jean is another predator catching channel. Skeeter Jean, he calls himself Skeet, Skeet Hansen. I'm Skeet Hansen uh, from YouTube, and and he, he he handles it pretty professionally too. I don't think he tries to. He does crack jokes like he is funny. Like he'll 
Like he'll go. Um, he he caught one of the predators at work. He caught one of the predators at his job, and uh, he sat at his section. And they had, they were secretly recording at first. He goes, "Hi, how you doing, sir? Yeah, um, I'll I'll go ahead and order the predator pasta." And the, and the predator server is looking at him like, "I'm sorry, the predator pasta is that on the menu tonight, sir? I, I predator pasta? I'm not sure what you mean." Oh, you don't know? Well, let me show you. Let me move the menu over here. Let me show you this menu. I got a menu of your nude photos here and the chat conversation. Does this look familiar, sir? Just the way he introduces himself to the Predators is so good. And, like, there was another one. He went to this ice cream stand. And uh, he, the, the guy operating the ice cream stand is the Predator. And he goes up to him. He's next in line. He goes, yes, sir, I would like to order the Predator peanut butter cup. <laughs> and the guy goes, I'm sorry, the Predator peanut butter cup? I'm sorry, we don't have that. Oh, you don't have that flavor. Okay, well, uh, is this you right here, sir? That's just the way the way he uh, talks to him. And if one guy he goes in a shoe section of Walmart. Yeah, uh, I'm looking for the Predator pumps. Thing. I gotta go back to the ice cream thing. Is this your popsicle? <laughs> 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 and he also says something about you looking for a different kind of cream, though. Is that what you were uh, looking for today, sir? Yeah. And also the yeah. other one. Where he caught someone at the shoe store or Walmart, the shoe section. Excuse me, oh, sir. Really? Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for the Predator pumps. I'm sorry, the Predator pumps. Do you know anything about that, sir? No. Are you sure about that? <laughs> and I, <laughs> the way they're he. They're about three inches. And what's that? They're about three inches. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just waiting. Skeeter Gene, another good YouTuber. Uh, hilarious. The way he catches uh, predators. Um, but anxiety war. ECW war. Unfortunately, YouTube is messing with his channel. It, it, it might delete all that stuff for BS reasons. So he'll he'll do like maybe part of the video up until the actual catch on YouTube. But then like you have to see the rest on his Patreon because YouTube wants to mess around because of the nature, I guess, of the videos. Even though these other predator catching channels get away with it, he, he don't do anything wrong to break the terms of service. But you also got butt hurt predators that false flag his videos, take them down. But of course, he puts them back up. And that's called the Streisand effect. You got this one guy. If you go to his channel right now, the home page is the featured video. It says, "Annoying predator tries ripping the chat log from me." He had the video removed on YouTube. He false flagged Anxiety War. Had it removed when Anxiety War put it back up, and because of that, it's got twice as many views now, over a million views. So these predators, you know, they make themselves look worse by trying to take down the video, then it gets put back up and it gives them more attention. Like, well, this guy right here removed my video falsely. Uh, I'm going to, I, uh, here's a re-upload and that ex ex further exposes them. So, um, yeah, anxiety war, you know, he, he, uh, would just, uh, do what he can as far as reinstating the videos, re-uploading them. But YouTube still likes to kind of um, I don't know if his channel is monetized anymore because of that, and so he has a Patreon. Um, but yeah, he's an awesome uh, YouTuber, one of, those, one of the most authentic, good predator catching channels. Pre predator catching, yeah, predator catching channels. You call that? There you go. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, kind of related, but not child busters. <laughs> I, I got uh, <laughs> I, I got a, a, a yeah I got a gig I did one day no anyways I got a guy <laughs> named Atomic Shrimp um, oh yeah the, oh you heard of him yeah I've seen some of his stuff it's been a while though um, he's he's most known for uh, scammer I he's just came. Brother. Well, I'm sorry. I just came across his name. I was scrolling through the subscription list. Atomic Shrimp. Yes. You came across him. Oh, well, okay. whoa, whoa. <laughs> well, hey, I won't have to have a C because I'm sure he's of age. <laughs> Too old? What? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that works. Um, but yeah, uh, he's most known for that, but he does a lot of other stuff. Um, a lot of... Uh, Scam baiting? I'm saying that completely wrong. Yeah, I mean, he's, you know, like Scammers Pay Back and uh, Jim Browning. And yeah. Stuff like that. But I, I, I enjoy his other content. Um, 
it's it's a lot of outdoor stuff um which i'm i'm getting more into uh than being inside all the time so yeah great fucking channel uh he's maybe has like 800,000 subscribers deserves a lot more in my opinion yeah he has 857k is what i'm looking at right now okay yeah yeah, I've seen his yeah. stuff before because he's one of those scam baiting channels as well. Yes, um, and 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 I do enjoy that, that that part of it. It's actually why I subscribed to him like five years ago. But, um, yeah, just all around good stuff. Yeah. Oh. Um. All right, and let's see here who I want to mention next. Um, I want to mention. Uh, you might have heard of this dude. Hilarious dude. Awaken with JP. Mm. He uh. does a lot of parody skits based off of, let's see here, especially what's been going on today with uh, Elon Musk buying Twitter. He make, he does parodies of people having meltdowns over that. And uh, just uh, videos like, uh, why guns must be banned now, but it's satire. And uh, it's just oh, a bunch of funny stuff on here where he just does a lot of satire and it pokes fun at uh, the woke agenda and all that stuff. Man, it was it's a hilarious channel. Guy's freaking funny. I mean, this guy, he has uh, 2.54 million subscribers. Um, so he's the real deal. And the guy's just a tremendous comedian. And, he he uh, looks like pissed off Carrot Top. <laughs> oh, you see him? You see him? Yeah, I just typed it in. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this guy pissed off Carrot Top. It, man, he's so much funnier. Uh, and he's done. He's been around for years, so check him out. Uh, this, one of the best sat, satire channels on, on YouTube. When California moved the test. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. Um... <laughs> Going on the, uh, the the outside thing again. Um, very popular channel once again, Project Farm. Uh, this guy does uh, well, outside stuff, tools, um, fuel, fuel canisters, you name it. It's um, well, it's it's everything. I'm, I'm not explaining this right, of course, as always. Uh, it's a good goddamn channel. Check it out. All right, cool. Outdoor stuff. Um, the only outdoor yeah. stuff I already <laughs> watch. Um, I mean, the only outdoor oh, stuff. Let me, huh? Let me, let me try again. Let me try again. <laughs> uh, chainsaws. Uh, water pressure sprayers. You know about that, Ronnie? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah. <clears throat> um. Okay. Uh, that, that I, I do thanks to that channel. Um, a lot of outdoor stuff. I like to watch. As far as outdoor stuff, the only thing I really care about really is the. Uh, there's one channel called Hornet King, where he destroys hornets, hornet nests, and different houses, and makes a living doing that. And uh, like he, you know, he's in a bee suit or hornet suit, whatever, for protection, and he takes, you know. Uh, uh, takes apart these giant hornet colonies and uh, he might still get stung through his suit because the, the swarm is so bad or they might be so sensitive if anybody gets near the nest at all they might come out and attack you uh, it was uh, that's a pretty good channel to watch to see how he handles all that stuff Like I'll I've seen a lot of flamethrower videos like it's bee and hornet's nest yeah I've seen some of that stuff too yeah um, but also, I mean, uh, like as a beekeeper, there's like a certain smoke that you can use to get the bees out and extract the, the honeycombs. I think I've heard of that, yeah. And the Hornet King, he'll take the, the leftover larva from the wasp, oh, the, the hornet queen. nest, and feed it to his chickens. The queen bee. Yeah. All right, and... So I want to mention, uh, I don't know if we mentioned him the last time we did this, but you might remember him. Uh, Bio Phoenix? Mr. Billy Mitchell? No. <laughs> uh, 
Bio Phoenix, he's been in commentaries with us before. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I haven't watched his stuff in a while, but he still does streams. I've been to a stream maybe a, I don't know maybe a month or so ago. I may have been 2015. He's still doing. Yeah, I, have, I didn't mention because I didn't mean it until 2015. Last time we did this was 2010, so over 10 years ago. Uh, Bio Phoenix has done a lot of co commentaries with SC2K. He gave my channel a shout out before, a shout out as you would say. Um, oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, he streams uh, some retro, I think mainly retro, maybe sometimes more newer games. Yeah, he's a pretty cool dude. So, Bio Phoenix. Seems like there's a lot of Phoenixes. There's Bio Phoenix, there's Down Phoenix, there's uh, uh, there was somebody else, Phoenix something on YouTube, I think I talked to before. Uh, how many Phoenixes are there? Jeez. Um, but, yeah, there you go, ECW Phoenix. It's life-giving, so there you go. Yeah, Bio Phoenix. Someone, uh, someone thought. Uh, someone said boiled penis one time. I said no, Bio Phoenix. <laughs> Check out boiled penis. That's like uh, clean your wiener on battle Yeah, clean your wiener. <laughs> <laughs> what were they thinking when they came up with that name? Did it? Did they not think it sounded like clean clean your wiener? I don't know. It was like 1991. So, so well, get your mind oh, the gutter, Ronnie. Oh, oh, 1991. Yeah. When the first website was launched. Um, <laughs> all right. You got anybody else? Uh, uh, actually, yes, I do. Um, this goes to, like, more inside kitten-type review stuff. Um, he doesn't... Okay, I'm going to try to explain this one better than I did Project Farm. <laughs> um, Project Farm does more side-by-side reviews um and in that it's usually like 10 products at the same time it's the same kind of product by different brands okay um the guy that, that, that i'm gonna mention is freaking reviews and he usually does well it can range from one to five or maybe more but they're more like kitchen do it yourself as seen on tv Perhaps in car type little devices, products, so on and so forth. Did I do better? Damn it, no. <laughs> it's again, it's a good channel. Um, I, subscriber count wise, I believe that he's uh, very underrated because, again, it's another professional, uh, great channel. All right, cool. Yeah. I want to mention RDC World 1. RDC stands for Real Dreams Change the World. And um, these guys do a lot of comedy skits. My friend Demond, his younger brother, has been in some of these videos. This channel has over 5 million subscribers. And I'm not exaggerating or joking. Literally, over 5 million subscribers. They live, so I understand, I think somewhere in uh, their P.O. Box is in Round Rock, Texas. So they're not far from me. Uh, and my friend Damon's brother is in some of the older videos. I don't know about the more recent ones, but there's like maybe a group of five or six or maybe more people, and they just do a lot of skits about various things, about the Chris Rock, Will Smith situation, or the NBA Finals, how LeBron reacts situation, uh, more in everyday life situations, Popeyes and <laughs> Popeyes Chicken, and uh, uh, what's that Christian Chicken Company called? Chick Fil A. Uh, Wal Walgreens versus CVS, a bunch of funny stuff they do. Man, it's, this, they're so hilarious, and they're funny actors. If you love comedy skits like that, they don't have to have much heavy editing or anything. They're so funny what they do. Just record, boom, do their skits, and then move on. These guys are freaking hilarious, man. So if you oh. love... Yeah, so if you love comedy skits like that, check out RDC World Freaking One. Like, they need a shout-out from... SC2K with our 632 subscribers. But, who cares? I'm still shotting them out, as J-Man would say, because that's how ECW they are. should be ECW World 1. It should be um, Atari 1. Atari 1, yeah. <laughs> I want to mention also Brian Trusty, who I haven't watched too much in a while, but Brian Trusty did our SC2K intro that we use now. I don't trust him. <laughs> no, Brian's a trusty guy. Um, he has—he's uh, one of the people I met through Goblin Two One Five and uh, Twenty Nineteen, 
and yeah, he's he's pretty cool. He does a lot of he's a big fan of Sega. He does a lot of Sega stuff, Sonic streams here and there, and um, I haven't watched him as a mu mu much lately, but uh, I mean, I really used to watch him a lot back in the day, and uh, yeah, he was a cool dude. He used to he don't do Fiverr designs on Fiverr anymore, like overlays and all that stuff for intros, but uh, I think. One of the intros he did for us was one of the last ones he did. So I always plug his link in the description box on SC2K whenever uh, we upload on this channel. Or so, yeah, he he did our intro. It's pretty cool intro. I asked him, I told him how I wanted it, and he did a good job in in doing it. And uh, of course, in the background, he has like a Sega Genesis console and has SC2K the video game inside the console. So that was pretty cool. Um, yeah. So Brian Trusty, if you like Sega stuff. Brian Trusty's a trusty guy to go to. So check him out. Sega Studios. There's a... Uh, man, uh, there, there's a channel uh, that's... It's not strictly Sega. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Um, it's it's very Sega-based. Um, it's, well, unfortunately, more... Uh, the Sega Saturn. Fuck that console. Um... But there's a lot of Genesis as well, and a little Dreamcast. Right on. I, I don't remember the name of it. Though. It just, it, yeah, it just popped up in my weird visionary brain. Oh yeah. Like Sega Lord something, Sega Lord X, I think. Hmm. Yeah, anyways, just throwing that out there. Um. All right, I, I I got two more. Okay. One is Tecmo. Nobody's going to care about this guy, um, even though he has over a million subscribers. Um, it's it's my kind of thing. I, I like to take things apart. I'm, I'm very techy, if you will. I like to take things apart and then try to put them back together and like learn the components and stuff like that. It's, yeah. Uh, this guy is very good at, at uh, presenting older tech. Like anything from uh, real to real players. Again, uh, nobody cares. <laughs> but yeah, that, uh, Tecmo is pretty fucking cool. Tecmo Bowl? Uh, yeah, that's it. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> um, we got to mention. Oh. Uh, 80 electronics, Walkmans. That. I mean, okay, look, like any of these fuckers need our help. <laughs> yeah. They're, they're all mad subscribed to. Right. <laughs> well, we got a shout out from Mr. 2K. That's going to really blow up our channel. Shut up. Uh, I'm arm. Yeah. And <laughs> we got to mention Bushido Blade Warrior, who is a part of s 2 k And. He's been doing stuff for, for for years. He has been he's mainly a live streamer. Um and so yeah, his channel has grown over the years. He's got over a thousand subscribers, I think probably as much as I do now, if not more. Uh Was he's, that the, the uh uh Damn it the, the the Arcade Fighters podcast? That wasn't the right name of it, but No, but she played Warrior, that's Danny. Oh, okay. Small tell me wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, he changed his name while back. Yeah. Uh, Danny, yeah, I've known him since 2000. We first met 2003 on MSN Groups. Uh, Mega Man's Clubhouse, where we met our friend X Gemini that passed away in 2007. Right. Um, he, uh, now, we hadn't, like, talked. We had, so we had, we were in contact, I think, on MSN since then, kind of off and on. But then, like, um, I guess around 2007, 2008, I don't remember. We he founded my channel and so he created his own channel called it Small Tummy Wonderful, and we talked about this before. But he was one of the entries in my first video game review contest that I rejected because come on, and I'm sorry we talked about this before. I said, Danny, you yeah. it was a 12 second video of you recording Street Fighter footage with no commentary way in the background. Is well that's all I could do at the time, and you know I did what I, I said. Yeah, but come on, I can't accept that. That that's not even like, <laughs> like it, I could not accept that in the content. That wasn't even like, what if it what if it somehow won? If that if that would have won the contest, 
Like, if me and you voted... For, no, no, I haven't met you yet. It was just me judging. Um, but if I chose that to to win over Retro Gaming 3 and the few other entries I had, I can understand that that one guy that got butt hurt that he didn't win. I can understand him complaining then, because that would be BS. <laughs> because <laughs> that review, like... It's like, I saw, sorry, Danny, do you even try? Well, yeah, that's all I could do. I said, what? You didn't do anything. I'm sorry. No, I can't accept that, dude. Like, come on. And there was another yeah. entry I had where this guy was just talking in front of the cam but didn't show no gameplay. And I put in the rules, I believe, like, show gameplay footage. Uh, he didn't yeah. show any footage at all. Just stood, sat there and talked for 10 minutes. And But at least that that was somewhat decent to accept because he was talking about the game that he was reviewing it technically uh he was talking about it and it wasn't 12 seconds yeah and so i just can't believe to this day like how could you enter that i could see if he did it as a joke but no he told me he was serious i have the exact opposite of that um, in my review contest goldsboro oh yeah so, like, part it was like 23 minutes of him playing Donkey Kong. Huh. I don't remember that. Was that our contest? The, the one me and you were judging? No, it was the Green Man contest. The what? 2010. The, the Green Man contest. Oh, I forgot you had one too. Is that now? Who won that one? Who, who, who won that one again? I forgot. Dr. Giggles. Who? Dr. Giggles. Oh, Dr. Giggles. Okay. I thought you said Dr. Chaos. So wait a minute. Kinkles. With a K. Kink Kinkles. K K Yes. Okay. Okay. He did the, the Mega Man 30 review. Okay. And in fact, um, Debt Fan 93 got second place, and Master Hand got third place. I mean, at least Goldsboro did something, you know. I mean, I, I just, I was just like, come on, Danny. Oh, he did something all right. Yeah. <laughs> but at least it was um, except. I had the guy as the uh, as my judge. Well. Side judge, whatever. Yeah. Um, and he picked Goldsboro. And I was like, bro, no. No. Like, bros, no. It's hard. <laughs> fucking. And, 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 and he wasn't even reviewing the fucking game. He was just playing it. It was, it was garbage. Oh, no commentary? Uh, yeah, he was talking, but. Eh. Yeah. Anyway. yeah. It, I mean, it wasn't even a retro sprayable. Oh, okay. And this is a review contest. Um, well, but I'll, I'll, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna reveal a little secret. I probably told you like years ago, but here's a little secret. Death Fan actually won that contest. Oh, really? Yep. So, I had hunted. I had hunted Doctor Pickles that did the uh, the Mega Man parody review. Oh. I actually like, hey, you want to join my contest? Because I didn't want that fan to win two contests. Oh, okay. So it was rigged. Uh, you rigged the contest. No, I'm kidding. Oh. But really, I mean, his was the better review, and we guy did agree. Um, but that fan did get a respectable second place. Oh, okay. Just, I mean, come on. You can't win them all. Yeah, that's true. But um, but uh, yeah, but Bashir Blade Warriors come a long way since then. Uh, so he's my tag team partner in the LLE, where we got stomped the other night. But that's okay. He's like a replacement, only he doesn't fall asleep. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And uh, all right. So who else you got? All right, I got one more. Cool. And uh, I say, I believe the best for last. So, let's talk food. I like meat. Not man meat. But meat. And specifically steak. Now, for way too many years, I was always well done. Well, done with that. Because I found this channel called Google Foods. And this man taught me... <laughs> The correct temperature to cook steak, and this has literally changed my life. I am not fucking kidding. Medium rare. Oh, the difference is astonishing. 
I <laughs> the steak show. Yes, he is the steak show. The real steak show. More food than that. Really, now, this guy is a professional fucking chef. Uh, now, would you but, stake your reputation on it? Absolutely. You bet your ass. Cool. And guess what? He's got a cousin named Angel. Uh, but he's. <laughs> 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 this guy is Mr. Recipe fan fucking tastic check the channel out he's like well over 3 million deserves more um, uh, again that, that, that's uh, one of those things where he has the subscribers but he also has the views cool so. nice Really changed my life. Not not only with steak, uh, but grilling all together. In, in fact, when we set this up earlier, I was grilling. Yeah. You was all up I'm in that grill. I, I never liked, I was always like a gas. Let's use the gas. And, no, fuck that. Throw some of the heat down. Get some oak up in this bitch. Yeah. The flavors and, oh. For fuck's sakes. Anyways, Google Foods does shit tons of experiments, dry aging. Fucking fantastic. Cool. It seems to be a lot at stake. Uh, All right. Well, I, I, I make many mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> well, put a stake in him. He's done. Okay, that's enough. Um, yeah. no, 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 no. All right. Um, I want to mention Megadan29, another guy we interviewed on the channel. This guy is very good at video games, just like Nico. Uh, he, this guy freaking no death run battle toads on live stream. No death ran battle toads on Ooh. live stream. And if you can no death run battle toads to begin with, I mean, jeez, yeah, I mean, man, dude, this Hell guy. Hell. Well, wasn't it LLE? Yeah, that's so LLE. Yeah, LLE. LLECW. LLE. All right. My goodness, this guy, very good at games, fun to hang out with in the chat. He actually will go out of his way. I've seen him where if you go to his channel, if you go to his live stream for the first time and he doesn't recognize you, he'll be like, J the J Man. Hey, the J Man, how's it going? I think this is your first time here. Hey guys, let's, let's give J Man a hand. This is his first time here. Let's give him a hand. He'll actually stop playing the game. And when he when he doesn't read the chat, like he has chat on his phone next to him. Like he concentrates on the game and then periodically checks the chat. Um, well, I would hope so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But if he sees you, he'll acknowledge you and just be like, "Hey, welcome. It's first time here, huh?" Clap, clap, clap. And he done a lot of no death runs, uh, not uh, battle toads, contra. He really helped me. He helped me a little bit in beating contra and super C on live stream and no death run, uh, doing no death run of those games. Um, he's been streaming Act Razor recently. He streamed VIP for PS One, which is I think a Pamela Anderson game. Uh, and oh, oh, I remember that. he he played through Daydream and Davy. Uh. He does a variety of games. He did a lot of uh, King, Griff King Griffey Jr. streams. And during the pandemic, I didn't even care about that game. But just hanging out with him during those streams, it was fun. That was one of the fu fun things to do during the pandemic. He's no death ran DuckTales. Um, he, he is... Uh, I'm trying to look for more no death runs. I'm trying to think. Double Dragon 2 for Game Boy, no death run. Um, let me see here. I know he's done a lot. I can't go through them all, but... Cowboy Kid for NES, no death run. I never played that game, but there's another. Okay, death. so for the Double Dragon um, on the Game Boy, uh, did he have like a, a screen recorder, or was he just like playing it on an actual Game Boy? I I'm not sure. I didn't really see that one, but I think he did a no hit run of Mike Tyson's Punch Out, and he plays on a real console with a real CRT monitor. So, uh, cool. which is easier to play on that because we play with the, the ROM. And, and you know you're not using a CRT monitor it makes the game harder actually um he has Charlie for one Frankenstein for the NES no death run DuckTales 2 no death run 
Jeez, man. Uh, try to look for maybe one or two more here. Um, no, Batman on Sega Genesis, no death run. What? Um, oh, I, I got a couple things to add. It's not anybody I'm subscribed to or watch regularly. Um, but there's Zalab one, there's Sinister one, uh, there's the Mexican runner. Um, these are just speedrunners um, that I'd like to mention. Um, I'm not sure about the Mexican runner. It, well, he ran a fuck out of battle toys. Um, but uh, uh, Sinister One and Zallard uh, did blindfold runs of Punch Out and Super Punch Out. Oh, yeah. There's, yeah, nice history of that. <laughs> There's also another channel. Damn it. I should have prepared for this. Eh, oh well. Um, summoning Salt. Oh, yes. A, he came into my stream before. Oh, yeah, yeah he, I was doing punch out when he came in for a brief period and then left. Um, he probably because I sucked. No, um, he, no, he was. He came in real quick. We were talking about Mike Tyson playing the game, and I said, "Yeah, Mike Tyson's played this game himself." And someone said, "And someone said he didn't play it until the Jimmy Fallon show." I go, "Wait a minute, I play. I think he played before that." Oh. And, and summoning salt was. I'm saying, yeah, I'm pretty sure he played it before that, too. They released it. And, yeah, Summoning Salt said, I'm pretty sure he did play it before the Jimmy Fallon show. So, and then I was like, oh, shoot, Summoning Salt, how's it going? And then he might have said maybe one other thing, and, like, just, uh, I forgot what he said, but then after that he left. Uh, someone said. Yeah, you had to go beat the record. Well, someone <laughs> said he was probably seeing your skills to maybe see how he can do a better record. I said, <laughs> He's going to the wrong channel. He's looking for a good <laughs> gameplay of Mike Tyson's Punch Out. It's probably why he left. He goes, "I oh, think I suck. I'm out of here." Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, it to he, uh, Mega Dan did a total recall playthrough. Jeez, uh, I don't yeah. know. I don't know if it's no death run. It doesn't say no death run, but he, he, oh wow! Forget Battletoads. Guess what game he no death yeah. ran? He no death ran. Barbie Game Boy Ultimate, no death run. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. <laughs> so this guy, this effing guy, uh, ECW, and he he came, he's all aboard the ECW train. He goes, Ronnie, you started a pandemic. We have another pandemic going on. That's on the YouTube com gaming community with your ECW chants because other people started saying it too. And so... <laughs> Yeah, Mega Dan's a cool dude. Uh, I'm one of his channel members. And uh, he was there live when I No Death ran Contra and Super Contra. Especially my Contra No Death Run. Because I was so determined to do that. It took three separate streams for me to finally beat Contra without dying. And Dan was there for that. And my celebration, I wasn't on camera, but my celebration, I was like, I just really, like, lost, not lost it, but like, uh, Yes! Yeah, I did it! With all the heavy breathing through my microphone during the last stage, because I was like, <sighs> like, I really, this is it. I've got to do this. Come on now. <sighs> I was heavy breathing the whole time, and Mega Dan loves that when I do it, because it's funny, just heavy breathing when I'm playing the game, because I was really focused into that, focused on that and getting it done. And then my celebration, I just erupted. Yes! Yeah, I freaking did it! EC Dub! EC Dub! Everybody in the chat, the chat blew up. Everybody celebrating. It was an ECW moment, and he was there for that. And so, Ma <laughs> yeah, Mega Dan, uh, definitely one of my favorite YouTubers. <laughs> yep. Don't contradict yourself. Um, Too late. <laughs> and. Another YouTuber that I like, Lit Gaming 999. I think he's live right now, but oh, he's lit. yeah, his chat is lit, and uh, he's a he's a pretty cool streamer as well. Uh, he comes to my streams a lot, and uh, he's been streaming some. Uh, he streams a lot of games off the Pandora um, emulator or Pandora something. There's a bunch of different arcade games you can stream off of, you can play off of. And um, he he I like how he would do a lot of late night streams or he would do uh, he would live stream UFC. He's 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 at like a 
he used to be a trained MMA fighter himself. Like, he didn't blow up to get in the pros or anything like that or UFC, but he knows some MMA stuff. And, uh, right. like, he's trained, right. to, he's trained to do that stuff. And he likes UFC. He is also a big, long-time wrestling fan like I am. Um, he's a pretty cool dude, too. I came close to... We could have probably met in person, but um, it was when I was on my way to Mexico. And my connecting flight was in was in Atlanta, and uh, he goes, "Oh, maybe I can meet you there." I said, uh, "One problem: mm -hmm. security's not going to let you go through without a ticket. <laughs> well, you, to get to where I'm at, you got to have a ticket first. He's ah, oh, dang it. The problem is Atlanta itself. Well, he lives yeah. in Marietta, so it's not too far from Atlanta, I guess. And he was like, oh, "I could probably meet you there before you catch your flight." I said. That'd be cool, but you're not going to be allowed to. Uh, I can't get to where you're at, and you can't get to where I'm at without a ticket. Um, he said, "Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Dang it!" Because <laughs> where I was at, you know, I'm in, you know, where all the, all the uh, passengers are at, trying to catch the next flight. And for him to get through that part, he's got to get through security. But he don't have a ticket or anything, and so can't meet. Um, but he, uh, yeah, he's someone I've been following. I think since 2019. Lit Gaming 999, uh, cool video game streamer as well. And it's probably only a handful of people I'm going to mention here. I, I, if I forget anybody that's listening, nothing personal. Forgive me. There's a lot of people I want to mention. There's a lot of people I got on the subscription list that I want to mention as well. Uh, a recent subscribe, a recent channel I subscribe to is Cart Narks. Cart Narks, oh. like shopping cart. He, this guy what? travels the world. I mean the world. He's been to Australia. He'll tra he'll travel just to walk, patrol the shopping parking lots to see who does not put their shopping cart back where they belong. And he will call them out. And they the reactions are funny. They get pissed. They start chasing them down. Throw drinks at them and get triggered. And he, the way he, he comes at them and says, well, you're going to leave your shopping cart out. You need to put it up. Look, you're leaving it right in the middle of the parking lot here. You're blocking the handicap spot here. What are you doing? You, you can't be a decent human being and put your shopping cart up. And the way he his comebacks, the way he, he insults them, really triggers them to chase after him. And like this one woman said, uh, look, I have a disability, but she had no, I think, no parking decal to prove it or... He goes, you have a lazy, lazy bone -itis. You're too lazy to put this shopping cart. That's your disability. And she starts coming after him, throwing drinks at him. And he says something like, she goes, you, you, you're not inside my body. You don't know how I feel. And he goes, I don't think anybody's getting inside that body. <laughs> oh, man, that triggered her. She wasn't so dis disabled anymore. She started walking fast toward him with, pep with uh, pepper spray, and he ran off. <laughs> like oh my goodness dude what oh well, man well, cart back in the corral yeah what? cart narcs this guy man like i recently discovered him through leon lush who's another channel that i watch sometimes leon lush um he i mean man like he did a reaction video on cart narcs and they got me subscribed to him and i, I like this channel i may not uh agree with maybe his methods 100 percent on certain things but, man, as someone that I hate it when people don't put their shopping carts up, it's like, are you that lazy? Put your shopping carts it's up. Easy. It's easy. You know, you just take your cart to your car. And you take out the groceries, and then you pull it, and then you put it in the car. It's very simple. It's simple. And it want me to hurry. Oh, well. I mean, shoot. Look, hey. I mean, I get it. You're in a hurry. But um, it, when you leave your shopping cart, in the middle of, a, especially in the middle of a parking space, like an open parking space. You, oh, there's a parking spot. Ah, dang it. And there's a shopping cart blocking it because of some lazy idiot who can't put it up. <laughs> Just, uh, so that's why, that's why. Uh, I'm too important. Uh, yeah. I'm a big Fuck your cart. Uh, someone should do shopping for me. Uh. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry. <laughs> my microphone was my microphone was muted. Dang it! I was talking. Uh, <laughs> um, I was so Cartnarks. Um, I'm a big fan of his because I like how he gets on these people that cannot do a simple act, and they're like, "You're harassing me. You got nothing better to do than uh, get on to me about not putting a shopping cart up." There's more serious things going on in this world. He goes, "Yeah, but it, it, you know, all you gotta do is put this shopping cart up." And, you know, that's it. Like, you say you don't have time, but you have a lot of time to 
uh, chase after me and cry right now. In the time it took you to cry and chase after me and threaten me, you could have had the shopping cart put up and be on your way right now. And this one guy was like, well, I've been working since 4 in the morning and I'm tired. Well, he wasn't tired when he got that adrenaline rush and I'm getting so angry and chasing after him. <laughs> and they try to get the employees involved. This guy's harassing me. And that he'll put like a, a little uh, a magnetic sticker on their car saying, I'm a lazy bones or something like that. They get mad, rip it off. Don't put this on my car, mother. This is gra this is graffiti. And it's not graffiti, sir. It's just a harmless little magnet. I didn't do any damage. And just the way he trolls these guys, it's hilarious. Some try to fight him. Now, he runs away from him. Because he's fast. He said, I know this could be dangerous. I'm trained. Like, I'm really fast. I can sprint away from these guys. I keep my distance from them. And, uh, but yeah, he like, some would chase after him and, uh, maybe try to spray him with mace or something. And, uh, man, this channel is just, it's really crazy. 351,000 subscribers. This guy travels the world. Like he's been in, in the States and there's a video where he went to Australia. I'm like, wow. You talk about dedicated. Uh. And he found Charlie or something. <laughs> oh, yeah. Listen, mate. Well, uh, well, hey, I got, I got to give you a one-star rating for not putting your car back up, sir. What does that mean, Mike? Uh, <laughs> and then he just cried. Can you imagine him messing with Jeff? And you know what? I'm tired. I don't feel like putting the car up. And then he flips the car over on Jeff. <laughs> Let me give you a little tip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, who else do I want to mention here? I'm probably going to forgive a few people. Forgive me if you're all listening. But like I said, there's only so much time and so much channels to mention. Those are the ones off the top of my head that I really, really uh, remember. Oh, of course, uh, this guy has different YouTube names depending on the time of the that time of the month. Does that sound right? Depending on the time of the year. Is it your time of the month? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I call him a Jimmy. He mainly, he's mainly known as GMC, which stands for Games, Movies, and Comics Are Us. He's one of my channel members. Cool dude. Uh... He'll do a lot of uh, silent streams. Well, he won't do commentary, but he'll also do streams with commentary. And he's been a big supporter of mine for a long time. He's big into Castlevania. We met in 2020 through someone else that I like on YouTube named uh, uh, Crossplay Gaming, like a Christian gaming channel, but not forceful with his religion. Just maybe don't even talk about it at all. But, but it is kind of like, you know, in a way, kind of a ministry. Crossplay Gaming uh, streams a lot of video games, a wholesome channel, no cursing or anything like that. And he did a, <laughs> and he did, he did a raid on games, movies, and comics or us, and that's how I connected with him. And so, GMC is one of my uh, closest friends on YouTube. He's a pretty cool dude. Um, I'm going through the list here, but I won't do it for too long because uh, I gotta get off of here before too long. And uh, but man, those are some of the people. I, and as soon as we get through recording, I'll be like, ah, oh, dang it, I should have mentioned this person. Ah, oh, dang, I should mentioned that person. Um, okay, hopefully this is one of them. The Seinfeld Channel. Never heard of the Seinfeld Channel. They have a channel. Oh, okay. It's, it's about nothing. <laughs> really? Well, there is a Seinfeld Channel. There is a Cobra Kai Kid Channel. Uh, he, and, he dedicated okay. to Cobra Kai. He's been to Cobra Kai conventions. He's met the actors. Pretty cool channel. Uh, you go. I mean, we guy. I mean, not here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we guy not here. Um, yeah, uh, Miguel, uh, and you, you his probably future stepdad now. Um, I'm Johnny. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's see here. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of uh, great channels. Those are the ones off the top of my head. And again, if you listen to this and say, "Oh, how could you forget me?" Nothing personal. Uh, there's a lot of channels I really like. Those are the ones that I just remember off the top of my head because I probably interacted with them recently, or or they might be channel members of mine. And so, uh, but yeah, there's a lot of good channels that I f follow and still subscribe to. Uh, Heaps of Games, an Irish gamer, Irish streamer. Pretty cool. I call him Heaps of ECW. Uh, oh, really? He's pretty cool. Uh, I think he's related to Fit Finley and Seamus. I'm not sure. Um, and yes, uh, I think that is pretty much it. Um, yeah, so. One I mean, up gamer. Uh, one up gamer. You know, I. He's when he. I don't know if he still does stuff today, but a few years ago when he's all like grown up to, or to an older teenager or early twenties, he did more reviews and those are much better. And I I told I told everybody I said I can tell he's going to get better if he sticks with it and learns from his mistakes because he's starting very young. 
I can see him having potential here. I know he was terrible back then, but the stuff he was doing, I can see him getting a lot better. I saw potential in that kid. And and he reviewed a Garfield video game and other stuff he did. And, like, he got a lot better in his uh, newer videos that he did years ago. So, yeah, not bad. Much more professional. Uh, just yeah. not, not a good editing. Oh, how could I forget to mention Chaos Retro Gaming 3? Uh, this guy lives in New York. He does a lot of streams. He's been a supporter of mine. Uh, he would always say, is that you in the chat? Like, I guess the inside joke or whatever. Is that you? But it sounds like he was saying Hugh, I guess. And now it's like, is that Hugh? And we make a lot of inside jokes based on Hugh. Like, EC double Hugh. Um, and... It's a pinkish Hugh. It's a pinkish Hugh. Like, does she have a pinkish Hugh? Uh, he streams a lot of many, many uh, like Modern Warfare, Call of Duty stuff. What's that? What did you say? Huh? I was making another pun. What did you say? Oh yeah, what did he? Yeah, that could be it. What did he say? Uh, yeah, man. Um, uh, he is an ECW dude. Uh, still supports my channel, and uh, you know, so there you go. I mean, I'm trying to maybe do a last second scroll here through my subscription list. Uh, someone that I may want to mention because there's too many to mention. I mean, I, I can mention so many of them, but we'd be here for hours on end. Um, I got, hey, I got one more, and I should have written this one down. Okay. You can do video games. I, I've heard of him. Yeah, I've heard of him. Very awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's two more. I, you, there's, two more there's two more. Just remember that I'm going to call it a night. From this guy. Yeah. In, in, in. Yeah. That's that's amazing. And yeah. uh I want to mention the Hoax Hotel and Mr. Gigi. Um Gigi. The Hoax yeah, the Hoax cool. Hotel. Yeah. The Hoax Hotel, one of the scam baiting channels. Um man, his stuff in twenty seventeen through twenty eighteen was gold. Now, I mean it's not bad now, but it doesn't compare to what he did back in the day. But man, like his stuff, he he's one of the people that really knows how to troll scammers. Along with the Tech It Realm, that's someone who also does scam videos sometimes, scam baiting videos sometimes. The Tech It Realm, who reached over a million yeah. subscribers not too long ago. The ECW Realm. I love his stuff too. I have to send you a, a latest scam baiting video that he did. That's freaking hilarious. Um, the Tech It Realm, Hoax Hotel, my goodness, the way he trolls Josh Brown, the FBI agent, quote unquote. Five different videos of his Josh Brown uh, trolling. Because Josh Brown kept on trying to call him and reach out to him. And then Hoax Hotel in character goes, Oh, I'm sorry, but I'm not trying to make this job hard for you, sir. I'm just trying to make sure the money goes to the correct place. And i got to use the printer to print out the, the more of this uh, stuff. Shut up! Shut the f up and listen to me! I said go to the Walmart to send the 880 to Shelly if you want to receive your funds. Oh, well, yeah, but I mean, uh, how is she going to get the money through? Does it take 12 days for the cash to go through the envelope? I mean... Uh, well, he didn't say that, but he says some things along the, along the lines of he acts stupid on purpose, and they get so angry, especially the Josh Brown situation. He's be like, "Oh, uh, you know, I'm going to receive. I can't fly to North Carolina to get my money. What? Do you, how am I going to get my funds? No, no, you go. It's going to be directly deposited to your bank account. Just send the eight eighty to the MoneyGram for the, the 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 delivery fee." Oh, okay, but are you, are you going to reimburse me for the flight ticket? Because I can't make it. No, shut up. Shut the up and listen to me. Why are you so stupid? What? <laughs> it's like, it's, man, I like just laugh so hard. I, I had to stop eating. Like, I, I told myself, do not ever eat or drink while watching the Hoax Hotel's videos. Because I literally spit out my drink all over my food, my TV tray one day. Laughing. At that, that sounds a lot like Schemer's Payback, which I did. That's, that's yeah. another great. Oh yeah, I watched the one where he he talks to this Nigerian guy, and that guy goes, "No, no, 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 no! You're supposed to send. You're not supposed to send to Benign Republic. You're supposed to send here. No, 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 no." I don't know if you, if we're if you're seeing that one, but yeah, I remember that. He goes six four. How could you not understand me, sir? It's six four nine. And he's like, give him the fake routing number. And then he tells the guy, I sent it to the Benign Republic or whatever he said. And the scammer just loses it. No, 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 no. No, no, you're not, I, you're not supposed to send it there. I said to send it here. We cannot give you your funds because you're not listening. <laughs> I've, I've heard of scammer payback stuff. That's pretty good, too. 
Um, yeah, the, 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 my favorites have been the he, he does like an old grandma. <laughs> I don't know if I've seen that one. You heard of Kit Boga, right? No. Oh, Kit Boga is probably the biggest scam baiting streamer out there. Uh, a channel out there. I think he made that stuff on Twitch, though. This guy's I, like. I don't really peruse that much, like anymore. Um, well, and Kit Boga has maybe, been. Maybe, maybe again. Um, send it to me. Put it in the. Put it in the the tagline. The tagline. Strong, um, about, all that good stuff. Yeah, the real. <laughs> um, he and uh, so those channels are awesome. The scam baiting channels. Uh, and I missed a Gigi. I haven't watched too much of him lately, but what got me hooked on his channel was his Chris Hansen, The Predator Chron Chronicles. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. yes. Hell yes. Yeah. Also, um, him calling out Aunt Viv. That was awesome. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. Calling out Aunt Viv. <laughs> and that whole situation where she, she falsely stri striked his video and all that stuff. And yep. <laughs> the Aunt Viv situation. And, uh, man, like, uh, yeah, Mr. Gigi is funny. He's awesome. Yes. The, the 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 Predator Chronicles, man, I was binge watching that. I don't know how many times. Um, very, very clever, very creative. I respect that in anyone that, that can even come close to that. Yeah. Man. Hell yeah. Hey, my goodness, hey, man. man, Kit Boga has one point one million followers on Twitch. He is the real deal. This guy is probably the king of scam baiters on the internet. I mean, yeah. This well, actually, um, a couple of years ago, I was going to subscribe to the King of Kong. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Not, he's in some shit, but um, I've never been able to successfully set up a, like a, a billing account with Twitch. So, yeah. So uh, I yeah. I mean, yeah. It's it's probably a victory for me, anyways, as well. Yeah, yeah. But man, um, yeah, I believe that is it for our favorite YouTubers and just some of the channels we follow and there's a Wait, probably I got one more no that's it no. hi <laughs> Justine oh okay, my yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding uh, <laughs> I, I used to watch a lot of Tipster remember Tipster uh, kind of yeah kind of yeah he did a lot he used to be a drama channel but not anymore um but he he was uh he did a lot of good stuff. I think he's just just gaming now. He just didn't want to do the drama stuff anymore. But he was good at covering that stuff. Um, he was hating on Mister Billy Mitchell. Uh, he, that's how I discovered him. He was uh, it was 2018 during the Billy Mitchell controversy and Apollo Legend and all that stuff. And yeah. which our whole thing is sad. I don't want to get into that the Apollo Legend. But uh, I mean, but man, like I uh, I think Tipster was friends with him. I think or I think he was friends with Apollo Legend. So that really hit Tipster hard. Um, but yeah, man, Timster, like, he's a good channel that I followed for a while. Uh, Camelot331, he talks about his GameStop experience of 12 years. And, boy, they hate him. GameStop hates him, and his old boss is trying to, like, legally sue him, but he never even mentioned the guy's name or anything, so he's kind of outing himself, the the former boss. He got, he got Silent Rob. Yeah, yeah. Was, I mean, Silent Rob had a good GameStop rant, but this guy has made a big, almost like a career on his YouTube channel off of GameStop stuff, his stories. He has he does other videos as well. He's also work at Walmart, I think, too, and he tells his stories there. Some he's people say, greeter. "Huh?" He's a greeter. Hey, greeter, yeah. So, what Cam Lord? so Camelot, he's a big Mel Gear Solid fan, so that's cool. Um, and yeah, so I believe that is it. Um, so you guys listening, please check out the interviews we did recently on Mega Ace Gaming Zombie GLT One. Uh, Goblin215 from Megadan. We interviewed him in 2020, actually. Um, and so, yeah, we did a lot of good interviews recently, uh, the past year or so. And we mentioned a lot of good channels that we discovered since 2010. Um, yeah, man. The also, the also, check out JMAN46241 for zero content. <laughs> zero content. JMAN's been well, retired. J-Man's been retired from S2K LPs and his own channel for years now. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, don't check out Romblower. He sucks. Um, yeah. The guy cheats in single-player games sometimes. He can't beat games legit, so he's got to resort to cheating. Pansy. Um, <laughs> and, yeah, some people get mad. Like, not so, like either at me or whoever. Like, if I cheat on, on live stream, 
uh, they get mad. I'm like, it's a single player game, and I'm upfront about it. I'm not. I got a king so I can eat. Oh. Yeah, and I'm not trying to like hide it. Like I'm cheating, and then I try to hide it or anything, or I'm cheating online against a multiplayer against you know uh, someone else a multiplayer. You know, like it's not that kind of cheating. It's just like for fun or because I can't get through a game, but I want to for the experience of the stream. There are some times where I challenge myself, and of course I don't cheat in those. But like, yeah, like some some people have gotten like upset about that. What are you cheating for? Because I because I suck at this game. I think I don't know if I told you this story tw real quick. In 2019, I was streaming uh, Mario Brothers one, two, and three. Um, by the time I got to Mario Brothers, I was having controller lag issues with either OBS or the emulator, and and so I I kind of used a I was using I think uh, invincibility. By the time I got to Super Mario Brothers two, because I got fed up with falling off the, con the the platform all the time because of the stupid lag in the controls, so the the I think it was the invincibility or whatever it was kind of. Uh, I was like, I mean, I'm just going to cheat through this because it's still hard to beat when I'm falling off these, these ledges and platforms because of the stupid lag. So I'm going to even out the difficulty here. And this one guy I never heard of comes in, and he's like, uh, uh, oh, man, you're, you're, uh, your gameplay is amateur at best. Uh, oh, man, uh, why didn't you do this? Huh? Your DSP. Yeah. And then... Um, he, uh, what else? Uh, he goes, how are you not taking damage when you get hit? I said, I'm cheating. I straight up told him. I'm not trying to hide it. I said, I'm straight up, uh, I'm cheating. Because the controller lag or whatever, he goes, take invincibility off. I was like, no. And the other people were in there too. Danny was in there. I think Danny had to time him out a few times because he wouldn't shut up crying. And then um, uh, he was arguing with other people about other stuff. Like, you can tell he's been a dick. And uh, he was... Uh, I think he says something like, uh, and finally, no, NES, oh, this is another channel I should have mentioned, NES Addict, NES Addict, J, not J from uh, Star Soldier, but NES Addict, this guy, good, wholesome YouTube content creator, he's been supporting my channel for a while, that dude's awesome, check him out, NES Addict, he was in the stream when that was going down, the YouTube user that was in my stream that was crying about me cheating. His name was Enjoy It Bro. It was like some sock puppet account. It was his name was Enjoy It Bro, and so Jay NES addict Jay he goes, Hey Ron, he's not enjoying it, bro. <laughs> and I just laughed, and uh, finally like Goblin Two One Five had to per perma ban him from the stream once and for good because he's like, I, I just can't stand with douchebags like this cheat. And Goblin's like, That's it, you're done, like. Dude, if you want to express your opinion, that's fine. But there's better ways to go about it. Like, get out of here. And don't be a d-bag. Yeah, and that was that was funny. Um, Jay's like Jay said, um, he's not enjoying it, bro. And then uh, Danny's like, I had to time him out several times. Like, dude, chill out. And then Goblin finally like, you're out of here. Get out. All because I was cheating in a single player game, and I was upfront about it, and like, no one else really cared. And uh, even. There was one stream, I forgot what it was, where, or maybe it might have been at Let's Play. And I was like, dang, I had enough of this. I'm going to start using cheats. And Tibbs was watching. Tibbs goes, that's my Ronnie. <laughs> and uh, so, but yeah, that I think that is it. Um, man, I wish we guy would have been here, but oh uh, well. Me and you knocked it out. And so well, we'll do our best to plug. Big up to Tibbs, by the way. What? Big up to Tibbs. Yep, Tibbs. Yeah, Tibbs. He don't do stuff. And he, he really did much on YouTube. He kind of fell off of that really quick. But uh, every once in a while, I'll see him in streams. And he actually donated $20 to me through Super Chat when I streamed Mega Man 2 uh, a couple of months ago. So that was pretty cool. Um, and all right. So, yeah. Um, that is it, guys. We're out of here. Hopefully, we'll do our best to plug in the links in the description box and all that good stuff. And so... Uh, yeah, guys, uh, J-Man, thank you very much for doing this. Oh, it was a pleasure. And uh, also, check out the ST2K channel. No, I'm kidding. Um, all right. And I fuck that show. <laughs> yeah, it's a dead channel anyway. All right, guys, that is it. We're out of here. I'm Ron Moore. God bless. And take care. And I'm the J... I, uh, I forgot. J Jackass Man 462. No, I'm kidding. All right. Hitman. No, no, no. Jamin. Jamin. Peace. Choo 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 choo.